this is a $700 lens and this is a $200 lens. This is a zoom lens which can zoom in or out from 18 to 35 mm. On the other hand, this is a prime lens with only one focal length which is 50 mm. The f-stops or aperture is identical though. Both lenses have extremely fast aperture of f1.8. That means both lenses are extremely good at low light situation and also can achieve very shallow depth of field or bokeh. Then why is this lens three times more expensive than this one? It depends on a lot of factors but the most importantly prime lenses do not have extra glass inside that moves in order to zoom that's why it's small lightweighted and even sharper than zoom lenses but zoom lenses have benefits too you can have a lot of focal lengths with the same lens without changing the lens but if you are a content creator and most of the time your camera sits on a tripod these two techniques will help you to save a lot of money almost no money the first technique I already discussed, use a prime lens instead of a zoom lens. Find out the focal length you want to shoot and buy a prime lens. They are cheap, lightweight as there are no moving parts inside. Also you can get a very low aperture or background blur and also good at low light and even sharper than zoom lenses. What else can you ask for? One of the prominent reasons a lens is expensive is higher aperture, in other words smooth melting background blur. So you can achieve this on post, just add a Gaussian blur. And and create a mask around your subject and increase the blurriness. Don't overdo it. Just a subtle blur will make your subject pop. If you overdo it, it will look fake. This effect will look better if you already have some blur in the background. So that's it for this video. If you like or learn anything from this video, do let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.